Hi, all. this is BRR. Welcome back to BRR Knowledge Hub. In this video session, we'll look at how we are going to create the compiler file for Python. That means compiled file, how we are going to create. Normally, when we create a Python file, it is going to create with an extension .py, right? Now, how we are going to create a .pyc, it's a Python compiler file. That means it's an about no lot of independent file which which has a you know uh, encoded or unicode format of text which internally refers to the personal file okay like if you compile c program dot you know turbo c uh, when it compiles uh, this particular file it will create an opj file I like that it is going to uh, generate dot pyc file and further that file is going to be used in other uh, Python files and you can refer in other libraries. Okay, now we will give a small demo on how we are going to create. So, for that, I am just creating a folder in D drive. I am creating this test DP folder. So, in this folder, I am going to put some code here. You know, this is uh, the file I am just creating. Okay. of generating dot by c file okay we are created on 28 october 2018 okay so in this i just defined print message so and this i have a print hello world this is what the function i'm going to print you and here i can call print message so what it will give you if you run this it will show you hello world right so for this file i'm just going to create a compilation file and see like how it is going to generate pyc okay this has been done i'm just going to create this file here in this particular folder here called test app so i'm just creating demo1.py file so this file has this code so actually which i have shown you this particular simple function okay uh, now i'm going to authorize i'm going to generate dot pyc file so if you look at here it has only one path just to go to command prompt and go to that particular folder test p okay and enter into python if you can uh, just before that let's see what this function so python demo one dot file so what it will you hello world because this only we are written in this file okay now how we are going to generate dot py c file so just enter python it enter into the python command from so uh to exit exit okay so after enter into the python command from just import py compile it is a library which has some functions to compile the python file to generate a dot py c file once you import that library just call by underscore compile dot compile or path. So here my path is demo one dot py. So once you give this particular path and execute, this will create dot I mean underscore underscore py cache underscore underscore folder. In that folder it is creating dot pyc. If you look at here, so this was created a folder here. And inside, if you go to this particular folder, you will see dot pyc file. And if you open this file, you won't get read. You are not able to read the content because it was a compiled code. Okay, you only read the commented code. It is what I I told you. If you put the document, I mean the comments in the uh, code. I mean single code, single code, single code. Then it won't encrypt and encode the uh, lines of code. But when you extract for documentation, it will extract only those lines that is worth the use, but remaining things are being connoted like this. And now I'm just changing this file to dot p. Okay. Now we'll see how it is going to work. 
So after generating this to come out from this icon and go to that path by cache and run the py file demo one dot py. So this also working fine. Okay. And even if you can remove this also, I don't mind. Okay. And I just copy this file into this folder and even I remove this also. Okay. Changing this one I see. I'm just copying into root folder here and just remove this. Okay, now to come out from this folder and remove only I have a compiled file, but not any version of file, right? If I run this the demo one dot I see. Able to see the output. This is where the beauty of this PYC file. Now, so this is how we are going to create uh, compiler files, and these files can be used anywhere, anywhere in the Python program, wherever it is required, as like other programs import command. Oh, so I hope you understand this uh, process of creating the compiler file by, for Python, and you have to import py underscore uh, compile library and then you use py underscore compile at compile method so where you mention the python file then it will create the python compiler file and it was placed in underscore underscore by cache py by cache underscore underscore folder and you get that file from that folder and copy it anywhere and use it further okay this is like how we are going to generate pyc file Okay, I hope you understand the process of creating a PYC file. And thanks for listening to this video. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos on Python. Thank you.